What is going on, folks? Anthony Armstrong here, the original one, three, and welcome back to another episode of Believe in Commanders. This is a part of the Believe Network and solo this morning, but I'm talking about a free agent signing. Wanted to spotlight some of these new faces that are here with the Commanders going into this upcoming season. And I think that this guy uh, could be a, a breakout player for the Commanders this year at a spot of need, uh, but we'll talk about him in a moment. So make sure y'all do me this favor. Uh, be sure to subscribe, comment, rate, and follow this podcast and let all your other Commanders fans know. If you're watching it on YouTube, make sure you hit that bell notification to get a heads up whenever we drop some new content for you. And also head over to betonline.ag, use our code BELIEVE, B-L-E-A-V, Get yourself that 50% welcome bonus, my good people. Uh, believe is the code betonline.ag is the website. It's got all your sports betting needs. And just ahead of March Madness, there is a contest that you're able to go in there, make yourself a pick, and there's a huge jackpot that you could get yourself uh, a part of uh, as well. So jump on over there to uh, betonline.ag. Use our code believe and tune in and rocking with us get rocking with us here's what we got folks today i was just reading an article this morning bright and early i was reading this article about this new linebacker that is in the burgundy and gold it is frankie louvu the signing coming out of Carolina by way of the Jets prior to that in Washington State and really from American Samoa. So five things. This is an article by uh, five things to know about Frankie Lubo. This is an article by Zach Selby over there over at commanders.com. Shout out to him for that. Uh, a couple of things. Number one, this guy brings versatility. And when you think of Dan Quinn, you think about the way that Micah Parson has been utilized. Frankie Lubo is a versatile player. He, this article talks about how the fact that he started out as a special teams player and when he made his way down to the Panthers in 2021, defensive coordinator Al Holcomb started putting him into different positions and it started in OTAs and you put a little bit more on his plate and then the guy finds a way to make plays and is productive with it. Fast forward to seeing Micah Parsons and how he was is able to absolutely demolish and affect football games is his versatility. You'll see this guy line up over the guard. He'll line up over the center. He'll stand up. He'll be out there on the edge. Frankie Louvu brings that to the table, and it's going to be exciting to see where he can play. I mean, Frankie said himself, you can put me anywhere, and we're going to go get it. He wants to be productive. He wants to make some plays for this defense and – uh, he's a leader as well. He is a leader on this team. He, he takes it as a challenge. He takes it as a challenge. And whenever you have a coach that's able to put people in a position to be successful like Dan Quinn does, he's going to make some makes make for exciting Sundays at FedEx. We well, at Commanders Field. Uh, FedEx is not. It is no longer the name. Here's what uh, Shaq Thompson said about uh, Frankie Louvu. He's one of those fast guys who plays fast, plays physical. He's the energizer bunny to this defense, said Shaq Thompson. He's a fast twitch guy that just makes plays. That's all you need to have. It's what you want from your linebacker. And here in 2023, he was made a captain after Shaq Thompson had an injury. The guy was made a captain. And re he, reading this article here, he said that it wasn't enough to just come in on Wednesday and rewatch film. He spent his Tuesdays at the stadium watching film, getting prepared for his next opponent. So being able to take that uh, – accountability on his own to take that step to go out there watch the extra tape and make himself prepared for who he was going to play against because he knew he was going to wear that green dot have to call those plays to the defense and want to be prepared for that defense that is the type of leadership you want to have from a linebacker uh, the versatility the leadership two things that have me very excited about Frankie Louvu and I, I'm glad to read this, right? I'm glad to read this, to hear about a young guy who's hungry with a chip on his shoulder and is actually showing up, putting in the work to make things happen. He says, I'm all in. I'm ready for it. I'm made for this. I mean, what can I say, man? This is my calling and taking that green dot and having the C on my chest. It comes with high responsibilities. And with that, with that coming, I can take it. All right. Now, obviously, you have Bobby Wagner, who's just been signed. We'll spotlight the OG in another episode of Believe in Commanders. But having Bobby Wagner alongside you and you have a young guy who's hungry to watch tape. Can you imagine 
the film room, the film sessions that you'll be able to sit in there and then you throw in a Jamin Davis and whoever else is smart enough to show up when those guys are watching tape. Expect this linebacking core to one step up their performance and play at a much higher level this upcoming season and, and be one of the biggest impactful positions on the field. Third thing here, Luke Keekley is a big fan. And if you don't know who Luke Keekley is, he is number one. He'll be a Hall of Famer. Uh, short career, but extremely productive. The guy played for eight years. He was defensive rookie of the year, made it seven straight Pro Bowls, and had many, many all pro selections. He's had, uh, he recorded at least 100 tackles in each season, led, led the league in stops twice, and grabbed 18 interceptions. He is a big fan of Frankie Louvu. Uh, Luke Keekley says Frankie plays football the right way. And he's jealous of the guys that get to go out there and play ball with him. There's one thing about having an energetic player that you can line up with or be on the field with or share the field with as a teammate. You know that guy's going to show up and do his job, and you want to match that energy. Uh, Luke said, I think his energy, passion, and love for football is something that's been really good for us. And when you lose a lot of those guys, uh, and good for us when you lose a lot of guys, like well, who's who's one of our guys we looked at that's passionate, loves football, has great energy, is around the ball, plays physical, who's tough, who will play hurt. He embodies all of that stuff. So Frankie Louvu, you got the tip hat tip or the, 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 the vote of approval <clears throat> from Luke Keekley, one of the most dominating linebackers to ever play this game. That is a good thing. He says he's really fun to watch. Louvu's always around the ball. When you watch the tape, you say, okay, there's Frankie. Uh, guys that pop up on tape like that, those are football players. Who's always going to be around the ball? You can expect Frankie Louvu to be one of those guys. Here's an interesting one, and, it, and it's more of a personal note off of the field thing. Frankie took a long path to earning his U.S. citizenship. He was born in Tafuna, American Samoa, lived there until 2013, and went to college at Washington State. And just recently, this past August, he took his citizen as his naturalized citizenship test, and he passed it. So now he is a full legal citizen of the United States. Uh, he had to take that test that had, what, 100 questions on U.S. Uh, civics, had to answer each question orally, went over the Constitution, defining the rule of law, and naming the branches of government. So if you go way back to, uh, what is it? I am a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. And I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. Like that type of vibe. Frankie had to go through that and more uh, to get his citizenship. And now he's going to be able to provide for his family um, and have them come down to the nation's capital to watch him play ball. Uh, the great part about this, I mean, the guy already was watching tape uh, on, on, on his off days to get prepared for the upcoming week. It says that he practiced with his team's athletic trainers while working out in the off season. And the Panthers VP of uh, player affairs, Kevin Winston and player affairs manager, uh, Jaquan Jarrett showed up for the naturalization ceremony in August. I think that's awesome. Kudos to those guys. Kudos to that organization for showing up for your players, uh, especially when it's a big moment, like being a naturalized citizen after taking your test. And here's the last one. I think one of the most important. He's coming off of a career season. Uh, and and his his career, his trajectory has slowly grown up. It's 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 worked its way up. He's gotten more put on his plate and he's handled that. Now you're getting this guy on a a, a favorable contract. He's still getting good money, but it's a favorable contract. It's not something that's breaking the bank. He's still young. He's got energy, and he's on the upswing. Over the past six years, Louvu's stats include 338 tackles, 41 quarterback hits, 20 sacks, and 12 pass breakups. He had He's accumulated over two-thirds of his tackles, 12 and a half of his sacks, and nearly half of his quarterback hits and nine of his pass breakups since 20. 22. He also took his very first interception, took it to the house. Okay. He set a career high in sacks and finished 10th in the NFC in tackles. So look, Frankie Lubu is stepping into this position. He's stepping into this, uh, into this game with a lot on his plate and he's handled it all. He's handled it all. And the one thing that, that you're going to get used to if you haven't seen it is that you get to experience some of that Samoan culture. Uh, down here in Texas at Euless Trinity, they have a, a strong Samoan uh, population in the community. 
they do the haka. If you've never seen the haka dance, you go look it up on YouTube. You'll see it. It's a passionate uh, dance that is done before battle. You see it uh, in some of the sevens matches, the all blacks, they'll do that. And it's, it, it's an intimidating dance with chants and slapping and facial uh, expressions. I'm sure Frankie's going to bring some of that vibe to the, uh, to the defense and to the DMV. And you're going to really appreciate this guy. I think that Frankie Louvu is going to be able to come in here, be impactful, and really help set the tone on this defense. Uh, but I want to get your opinion on it. Let me know what do you think about the signing of Frankie Louvu. What do you think he's going to do? Head over there to our social media platforms. Hit us up on X at Believe Commanders. We're also on IG, TikTok, and YouTube. You can follow us on those spots. Uh, but let me know. What do you think? Drop it in the comments. What do you think about Frankie Louvu? I think he's going to be one of the unsung heroes, if not um, a low-key MVP for this upcoming season in this team. Talented young player. would love to get him on the show. So, Frankie, if you're listening, come on over, man. You're always welcome here on Believe in Commanders. But I'm going to get up out of here, folks. Make sure you all tune in on SiriusXM Stadium and all your favorite streaming platforms. Tune in radio and catch us on hotels, airport uh, TVs, when we team up with the game plan and reach TV. So uh, for Brian Murphy, who is down there in ATL, holding it down, getting all the updated stuff on Kirk Cousins, I'm Anthony Armstrong, holding it down for the Believe in Commander Show. Talk to you guys next time.